In this video, I am going to review about this book, The Case of Mischievous Dog, written by L.A. Stanley Gordon, the famous crime mystery novel of Perry Mason series. Here is a brief story plot about this book. Here is a young woman whose name was Dory Ambler. She came and met Perry Mason in his office and asked his help to identify her. So Dory Ambler had asked the help of Perry Mason and Paul Drake to identify her with this bodily scare mark that happened due to some appendix operation because Dory Ambler suspected she would end up with accusation of some crime that she never committed because of her resemblance with some other person. Because Dory Ambler suspected she was being used as a double for some other person. So this was the request from Dory Ambler to Perry Mason. And shortly after this, something unexpected happened. This same young girl Dory Ambler straight away from the Perry Mason office went to airport and pulled her gun from the handbag and shot up in the air and straight away went to the restroom. While coming out from the restroom, police apprehended the young girl. But the surprise thing is, the apprehended girl was not Dory Ambler. She was a Minerva Miller, another girl, a wealthy girl in the city. And now Perry Mason was in a confused state. Why Dory Ambler did this? Perry Mason started to suspect Dory Ambler. So Perry Mason initially suspected Dory Ambler was a half-sister of Minerva Miller. So Dory Ambler was doing all these things to get her share of inheritance from Minerva Miller, which she believed deserved to her. But in the sequence of events, Perry Mason came to know this was not the case. There is something a bigger plan that's going to unfold in the near future. So in the meantime, many twists and turns happen. Dory Ambler was missing. Minerva Midden was arrested for the charge of murder for murdering some private detective. Now the case was full of mess before Perry Mason. Now Minerva Midden requested Perry Mason to represent her in the courtroom. After initial hesitation, Perry Mason decided to take up the case of Minerva Midden in the courtroom. So now the courtroom scenes. The arguments and counter-arguments between Perry Mason and his principal antagonist character Hamilton Berger will unfold the real mysteries. But even after the real perpetrator was caught through the cross-examination by Perry Mason, one question still remained mystery. Where is Dory Ambler? Is she dead or alive? In most of the cases, Perry Mason should be in the driver's seat by outguessing his opponent and prosecution side and set a trap for the real perpetrator. But in this case, Perry Mason was in the defensive side. The situations controls Perry Mason's. Based on the situations, Perry Mason played his card and in the end, the usual Perry Mason tricks worked. I would like to come up with more such interesting cases of Perry Mason in my future videos. Thank you.